Have you ever wondered how to get these super cool red carpet glam bot shots? Stick around to find out. Hey everybody, it's Caleb here from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Today, we're gonna show you three ways to make these epic glam bot shots from home. A glam bot is a high-speed camera combined with a robo arm. It lets the camera move with incredible speed and precision. That's the main difference when compared to a regular jib. It was popularized by Cole Walliser, a filmmaker that grew up making skateboard videos just like some of you. This is a great effect to showcase your new outfits, or if you just want to pretend you're a celebrity for a minute. Today, I'm going to show you how to do it at home, with the use of some regular household tools and a little sprinkle of Filmora 12. If you haven't already, you can download Filmora 12 at filmora.wondershare.com or at the link in the description. I prepared a few examples from some of the nicest homemade glam bots that I've seen on the internet, so let's go see some. So the first DIY glam bot we have is the scrubby thing. Let's see what it's like. Okay, we're using our chin to tape a phone to a scrubby thing, like a sponge scrubby thing, to the ceiling. <laughs> Looks a little bit dangerous. She's now swinging it from the ceiling towards herself, I guess to create the glam bot. Maybe there's gonna be a little bit of work in post, but it's pretty cool. Okay, this one's all right, Let, let's move on to the next one. Okay, this one's a little bit more confusing of a setup. I'm trying to see what's happening. She's got, a she's got a tripod with a ring light, and now she's hanging her little pouch in front of the ring light, and I guess she's gonna swing it towards the tripod. Okay, all right, let's see the resolve here. Hmm. Okay. That one almost has the opposite problem of the other one. It's like too much legs, too much ground, but it still looks pretty cool. All right, let's see, let's see the final one. Let's see number three. This one says, we're just going to run at each other with our phones. <sighs> All right, this is, this is probably the most DIY, truly. You don't need a single thing for this one. Okay, I see. So this one, we're just trying to trick the audience to make it seem like a glam bot, but it's just a handheld movement. You might actually be able to trick some people with that one. It's not too bad, actually. Okay, all this is fun, but the real fun starts when you get to do it yourself. As always, there's a few ways to peel the potato and I'm gonna try a few, but first things first, the performance. I'm gonna ask my model to dress up into preferably floaty clothes and to get herself in a playful mood. It's important to give some action to the point when the camera gets close to the subject. She can create some motion with her dress, whatever would look good in slow-mo. A couple especially important things to consider. One, the composition. I'll make sure that the camera height and distance will complement a headroom of the shot. Number two, the lighting. Because we're shooting slow-mo, film outside in a sunny day, or make sure to have enough light on your set. Now let's get to camera settings. I'll set my camera on the fastest frame rate it's capable of, preferably 120 to 240 FPS. But I also have to keep in mind that I have to shoot at at least 1080p for a quality result. Take it as a rule of thumb. Great, now let's look at three different ways to get a glam bot shot. First, let's try to replicate something that we already saw. I'm gonna use a cup supported by two anchor points attached to the tree. I'll put the phone in the cup and we'll fill the remaining space with some napkin to avoid the wiggle. Let's swing and pose. Looks decent, but let's try something else. Now I wanna wear my engineer hat and try something original. I'm gonna attach my fishing line to the tree branch pretty high up. I'll put the line through the scrubby stick loop, and the other end I'll tie to the tree beside a bit lower. I'll also make sure that I have enough tension in the fishing wire to avoid the shake, as well as that I have enough distance between the trees for a good movement. After I finish the setup, I'll launch the camera and let the model pose. The result looks pretty good. You can definitely do it with household tools, but also, if you own a gimbal, you can use it to get an even better glam bot shot. So the plan is to step about 10 feet away from the subject. Start low and push in while rising the camera and give it a subtle wrap around. It looks great, but we're not done yet because it's editing time and the process is quite simple. I'll bring all the magic that I shot into Filmora 12. Then I'll enable speed ramping. 
and I'll add a speed point at the place where the camera comes close to the subject. And we'll simply speed up everything that's before the speed point. Last but not least, I'll just keyframe my zoom and position like this to create those iconic snap zooms. And voila, it's done. Please share the links of your Glambot videos with us and let us know what technique you're gonna use in the comments. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the Wondershare Flamora channel for more video editing tips. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.